everyone, you're here with Footprints of Christ. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why people have addictions and what are some of the things you can do to conquer addictions. And I'm going to be doing this using the Bible. Now, before I get started, I want you all to understand that nowhere in the Bible is the word addiction used. But in other words, it talks about the source, which is sin, and how our flesh is weak against it. Now, there are many addictions out there, including eating, drinking, drugs, gambling, watching TV, pornography, and the most recent I have been seeing is watching Illuminati videos. Now, before I get into why people have addictions, I want to talk a little bit about the most recent addiction I have been seeing and I myself was addicted to at some point. Now, there's nothing wrong with learning about the truth on what's going on in this world, but if all you're doing is watching Illuminati videos and telling people about it, technically speaking, you are spreading more bad than good. Because you can watch all the Illuminati videos you want, but it's not going to get you anywhere if you don't have a solution, which is God. And I was watching these videos myself, and this was all I was seeking. I wasn't seeking God like I should be doing. So my point is start seeking God more because this is going to help you more than any Illuminati video can do. And to bring up another point, I hear more people talking about the Illuminati than I hear about God. And I think this is wrong. So I just want to put that out there. So let's get started. So why do people have addictions? Now, one of the reasons why is because people have a void in their heart and they try to fill it with what they believe is going to make them feel full. Like for an example, people who smoke, drink, do drugs, or watch pornography, they usually do it when they are feeling down, have a lot of stress, or just feel angry. So they do these things because they believe it fills that emptiness they have inside. But what happens after they have their smoke or drink? That same feeling of emptiness comes back. But why? Why is it that people tend to keep making the same mistake thinking that these things are going to help them when they don't? People are seeking the wrong thing. That is why the same problems keep coming back and much stronger to a point where it breaks them down. For an example, having an addiction is like someone who is in a desert and is thirsty. They are lost in a desert full of addictions where they keep passing by water, but they ignore it and keep seeking addictions and their own desires. That is a problem when people think they know better than God. I'm telling you now, Jesus is that water. The water that's going to fill you up and keep you full. He is the one you need to be seeking. Now, let's take a look at what the Bible has to say. In John chapter 4 verse 13 through 14, Jesus replied, Anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again, but those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. So we see here that Jesus is that water we are supposed to be seeking. Nothing else you do will take that emptiness away. If you keep drinking that same old dirty water, guess what? You're going to be thirsty again and again until you die. Because you see, we can't live without God. Our body and spirit needs God in order to survive and keep functioning. God is life, and if you don't have God, then you don't have life. Now, Another reason is our flesh. Now we're told in the Bible that our flesh is weak and we are born with sin. So this plays a part on why people have addictions. Now for those who have not accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, it's a battle that you cannot win. You are going to lose against your addictions. But for those who have accepted Jesus, this is a battle that you can win because you're not alone. Now don't get me wrong, you still are going to be in a battle with different trials, but each trial that you face and conquer, you have God there to give you the strength and your spirit will become much stronger than before. So basically you must face these trials in order for your spirit to become stronger than your flesh. The bigger the spirit, the smaller the flesh will be. Okay, now I would like to read a couple of verses from the Bible. In Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 through 17 tells us, 
So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. So we see here that we're in a constant battle between our flesh and spirit. So my question is, which side are you feeding? Are you feeding the flesh or are you feeding the spirit? This is very important to know because this will determine the outcome of your situation. Because if you're feeding the flesh, then your spirit has no chance. In Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 tells us, Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So if you're feeding your spirit, then you are in the right side of the battlefield. We need to feed our spirit with the Word of God. Now, there are many sins on the battlefield, and we might sometimes feel like we have no chance. But I tell you this, we have one God, and He has conquered sin, and has defeated death. We must understand that it's not the flesh that gives the life, it is the spirit. And when you feed your flesh, you have no chance. We cannot do this alone, and you don't have to. In Mark chapter 10 verse 27, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. So before I close off in this video, I just want to say that I am on the same boat. I battle with addictions and my sinful desires. I get stressed out. I get angry. And sometimes I fall. But I get up and I think that's the most important part that you don't give up. Because for every time you fall and get up, you will get stronger and stronger and you know what your sinful desires are going to get weaker and weaker so if you want to get rid of your addictions and gain control over your sin I tell you the truth Jesus is the only way so for those who smoke drink do drugs or watch porn there are many things out there that can help you like nicotine and rehab but those things have a certain limit on how much they can help you but I tell you what, Jesus has no limit. He is the beginning and the end. So pick up your sword and your shield and fight your addiction. And if those cravings to smoke, drink, do drugs, or porn come back, get up and pick up your sword and keep fighting. Because I tell you, in the end, only one side can win. And only one side will be standing. What side are you on? So that's my video for today. Thank you for listening and I hope this video helps you in some way. God bless.